Hello everybody. In this lecture, I am going to talk to you about the renowned Middle English writer Geoffrey Chaucer. It is believed that Chaucer was born in the year 1340 to John Chaucer and Agnes Copeton in a middle class family in London. His father, John Chaucer, was a wealthy wine merchant who wanted his child to have formal education. So in his mid-teens, precisely in 1357, he became a page to Elizabeth, the Countess Walster, where he could obtain formal education and be schooled in court and society life. Because of the same, he learned Latin, French and Italian that equipped him for diplomatic and civil service as well as enabled him to translate literary works in all three languages. He joined English army's invasion of France during the Hundred Years' War and in 1359 he was taken as a prisoner during the siege of Reims by France. It was King Edward III of England who paid his ransom in the year 1360. When Chaucer joined the royal household, he became a trusted messenger and a minor diplomat who travelled all over Europe. He was frequently sent to the continent on a number of business for the king. It was during such trips, particularly to Italy, that he became acquainted with the works of the greatest Italian authors of early Renaissance spirit, Boccaccio, Dante and Petrarch. Talking about his personal life, he married Philippa de Rhodes, who is the sister of Catherine Swinehoe the third wife of John of Gout, Duke of Lancaster, in 1366, and he had four kids with Philippa. On June 20th, 1367, he was appointed as wallet for the king and he received life pension from him. On June 8th, 1374, he was appointed as a controller of customs for wools, skins and hides for London, which was a very lucrative job. Talking about the fag end of Chaucer's life, Chaucer's magnum opus, The Canterbury Tales, was a work that he continued throughout his life. However, he died before he could complete the proposed 120 stories. He wrote only 24 stories. He died in 1400 and he was buried in Westminster Abbey, the first poet to be buried in what has become known as the Poet's Corner. In the next lecture, we are going to talk in detail about the prologue to Canterbury Tales.